Can you believe that these little seeds right here result in vegetables like these in just a few short weeks? Welcome to Liberty Farms, of the newest hydroponic farm being developed here in Grand Valcaria, Florida. We are so excited about the project because we will be serving the community the freshest vegetables that you can find. I'm Val Steele. I've been in Brevard County for over 50 years. Some of you may recall we have a real estate company called the Steele Group. Uh, others, and I don't want you to hold this against me, might remember me as a county commissioner. But I'm okay now. I've been a long time since I got out of that business. Look at this romaine lettuce or this bib lettuce. We grow this in about 35 days from a seed. We are in the nursery house. The process with the seedlings is once they have grown a good root system, meaning this whole cell is gonna be a big root ball, nice and tight, that's gonna ensure that your plant is gonna be healthy when it's transplanted into our tower systems. Um, we get here in the morning, real early, about eight o'clock. We come and we check on all the plants, make sure that there are no issues, and we make sure that all of the towers are getting nutrients. Well, this is our outdoor vertical gardening system. What, what we've done here is we've made a rotating stack that takes advantage of the vertical space. Um, a couple things that we do here as far as how we're watering and how we're feeding. Well, this is the magic that makes everything here at, at Liberty Farms work. This is called an injection board, and it essentially it uses six solenoid valves. As we have nutrient flowing down our nutrient line, it's gonna hit this uh, microtube and drip right on what we call a distribution pot here. Everything here is like a Lego piece. Nothing is attached together. It just, there, there's a central support pipe that keeps everything rigid, and that's down into the ground about 16 inches. So even though we have a lot of wind or anything, this is gonna stay upright. I call it knees to shoulder type gardening or in, in this case this is uh, vertical agriculture at, at its finest here out at, at Liberty Farms. These are brand new planted pepper plants. This is essentially what a stack looks like right after we've planted it or, or you know when we've transplanted um, the new, the new uh, fresh starts into the system. And then this system is very efficient. It's going to water two to four times a day depending upon um, you know what time of year it is. The harder we are we're going to water it a little bit more. But from the standpoint of efficiency, we're going to drip in this stack from anywhere from three and a half to four and a half minutes, depending on how many how many pots that we have stacked. And what that'll do down at the bottom is it's going to drip into what we call our catch pot, or it's essentially a waste pot. Um, it, it, it enables us to not waste any nutrient. So it's a drip to catch. We're not looking for any leaching in the ground. You will get some in this system, but we're looking to be a very fine-tuned watering system to where once that starts dripping at the bottom, it's going to feed that larger crop down at the bottom. We won't have to worry much about wasting any nutrients and it keeps everything very efficient for folks who have water co conservation issues, um, which is, is happening in much of the west coast, not necessarily here in Florida. This is a very efficient system for watering. I'm filling these pots with a coconut husk. It's a pretty sterile medium and it's just something to hold the, the plants in while they grow and hold the nutrients. I think a lot of days, uh, these days, people don't really have an idea of how much work goes into producing the food that they eat and it's a little too easy to get the stuff from the market therefore they're paying higher prices so when you come out here and you really work for it and you get your hands dirty it's a good rewarding feeling and it's a good thing for the community I believe. It's amazing to me I did not understand that the vegetables that we're buying in the store for the most part are being purchased over in Tampa and they're coming from South America, Central America, California, Texas, Mexico. We have no idea what they're sprayed with, what chemicals are being used on them. And by the time they get to Florida, they're already 10 days old. But here at Liberty Farms in Grant Paul Carrier, we have ultra fresh vegetables. In these systems, we're not using the variable of dirt. We use growing media, things like coconut fiber and pine, composted pine bark or perlite, and, and that gives us a ground zero place to start, and then we feed it a perfect nutrient. That's why when we do this vertical gardening, keeping everything clean and up off the ground, we can have perfect results with plants, and our variables are, are the same variables that anybody else has with pests and, and such. And at this farm, they treat everything with organically approved um, you know, pest control, so it's a fantastic, right off the vine you know, way to eat and sell this type of produce.
But what's more amazing is the quality is so great. The food is so delicious. It's the freshest vegetables you can find. We will be having a program called the CSA program, which some of you may be interested in uh, trying. Now, that is, you buy your vegetables in advance and you come to the farm once a week, you pick them up and they're so fresh, they, I jokingly say, they'll let us get up and slap you in the face. And one of the great parts for me is we homeschool our kids. I can come through this garden and because I know that Liberty Farms doesn't do anything harmful, I can eat that, that uh, baby spinach right off the vine. I love that because I can teach my kids about a lot of things. Uh, we homeschool our kids and, and the parable of the seed is very important to me, but I can teach them how to take something from seed, grow up that baby plant, transplant it into a vertical garden like this and show them exactly how horticulture and all kinds of fantastic things happen with, with, with what we're doing here at, at Liberty Farms. It's just a really neat way to live. So I love working here because I uh, get to grow beautiful produce and provide food for my community and I'm outside working in the sunshine every single day. Welcome again to Liberty Farms. I hope you, we can see you soon. We have a web page. It's www.LibertyFarms.info. Thank you very much.